Hello, Bucks fans. We are back again, and today we are going to talk about second round pick from the Buccaneers, and that is offensive lineman Cody Mock. And he is a very fun film study, very aggressive, and a very typical Jason like pick. And as we see here, I mean, just look at this face, uh, you know, no uh, front teeth, uh, no bull on the shirt. So obviously he's all business. Um, but again, very impressive size. And again, he'll continue to build his body six, five, you know, a little light 302, uh, but super athletic, uh, shorter arms. So he's probably going to be moved to the inside. I think the bucks are thinking him at right guard. So, you know, that'll be an interesting competition, but uh very intriguing pick. And again, super athletic. You see they're pretty athletic for his size and everything. And Mark, what's your opinion on uh, Cody Mock? Obviously, we kind of saw it coming with, uh, you know, the second round pick. Yeah, so that right there, NFL comparison, I'm going to say it's an Alex Kappa clone. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm going to say a little bit more, I guess, finer tuned than Alex Kappa was because Kappa was just like a mauler when he, we drafted him. He was a third round pick. This guy actually shows a lot more technique, a lot more ability to, to move in space. Kappa has seemed a little bit of a true tackle and it looked like the transition to guard was going to be hard for him. I think Mock can literally, his movement ability, it doesn't matter where he's at. He's so athletic that he can do that. Functional mobility is what he has. And mm -hmm. it's on full display when you see him in the tape. Yeah, absolutely. So let's let's get to it. And yeah, the tape was a lot of fun. And you'll see it here where he's his ability to just move so effortlessly is uh, really impressive. As you see there, getting to the second level and just finishing, continue to drive his legs and get get to the next level where he needs to be to really create a lane for his running back does a great job and then finishes at the end there so yeah he's he's everything you want from an offensive lineman yeah let me just point something out it is very difficult for a man that's 6'5 300 pounds to move this quickly nimbly behind to elude one defensive end make it to the second level he puts his hand on this tackle to make sure that he gets there safely and doesn't just trip over feet, trip over a bigger body, see his hands right there, pushing off, then maintains his block all the hell the way through, all the way almost to that 30-yard line mark. That is incredible. It does get to 30 and then throws him down and then finishes <laughs> play after. So yeah. that is not a, like a small feat to do. Like, that is incredible that he can get over there, maintain. The, the linebacker had no chance. There's no chance making a play and then make sure, put your stamp of, of approval, you're not going nowhere. And then stuff like this. This is higher level blocking. It's not just I'm going to get in the way. I have a plan once I make contact with you and then you're done. Like that's that's good stuff. That's NFL caliber type of play. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a little snatch and trap here and does a great job of, you know, maintaining balance and then just finishing this play. Good hand placement. So, yeah, the technique is a little bit more refined, like you said, than Alex Kappa. Um, but again, it, you you still have that concern with competition level but he's showing it consistently and he's also dominating his competition, which is a great sign. Um, you see here just overpowering uh, defense alignment as he just rips into this guy and then drags him down, finishes with the body slam. So yeah, it's really cool stuff to see. And you can see where the natural fit at guard uh, really comes into play. Yeah, but, and it's all understanding leverages too. So look at the subtle little adjustment he makes to go a sidestep to the right. And then he leverages himself because he knows the play is going to the right. So let's not let the guy win inside to that right. So watch, steps in a little bit, maintains the block, realizes, okay, this guy's pushing too much body weight forward. I can just drop him down. And he does it easily and then sits on him. Like it's just understanding what's happening in front of you and going with it. And now more functional mobility we're talking about. Look at him over here. He's going to get out in space and block. Break this one down for us. Yeah, this is, I mean, like you, everything you said, fun, functional mobility, getting out in space, locking, latching onto the block, and then making sure he finishes. And he's going to finish this kickout block all the way to the sideline as you let it run. This play ends up going for a touchdown because of that, again, first key block gets the space, gets the, the wide zone. And that is something that you'll see with the Buccaneers' new scheme. Like him at right guard, he'll be able to pull, get out in space, and do a lot of different things. Um, and then, you know, same thing here where he's just going to get into the guy, drive him, continue to finish, 
again, being able to twist and turn somebody's body and he understands where this play is going. That's really impressive to, to do that and create space. Yeah. Leverage balance. I mean, that's all there. Cause look at his whole leg go up. This guy's going to pull him, try and throw him off. Nope. I'm going to maintain my grip on you. The fight to stay in that block. He's got it. I mean, lost two damn teeth in the front, <laughs> front of his face. He's got to have some fight to him. Right. Mm -hmm. And just the ability to stay on block for that long of a time. Again, competition. Everyone's going to cry about that. It doesn't matter. He's consistent on tape. And if this consist consistency you can see here, let's see if that carries over. And he's only going to get better as he learns the, the scheme, the systems, and just learning how to grow in his body too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and here you see a first level block, now get to the second level block, being able to disengage and get upfield. That's really impressive. And that's what you know a good running game is all about. You have to be able to get out in space and create alleyways. And that's something that he's doing here. And then also finishing beyond the whistle. Uh, you love to see it. Uh, and then same thing here, getting outside, using that mobility, finding guys to block. And he does that so well. Like he really misses when he gets out in open space and sees who he has to get. And he makes sure he gets them. Again, taking out the number 11 here, the linebacker does a great job of just taking him out and making sure he finishes. And another little subtle thing that you don't really notice until you actually see it multiple times. He's not going to overly commit outside. He's literally just going right over the tight end so that if this guy ever tried to cut it inside, he's not going to be able to. He can stop it there so his guy can catch the outside, right? So subtle little move, doesn't overcommit. The foot's right there, steps right over it. He's right there. So that they couldn't undercut the, the, the play, couldn't stop it behind the line. And there, there's the outside. He won the outside. Pick up some yards and more blocking isn't outside. How's he do with length less? Yeah, I think he does a pretty good job. And, and this is, you know, he's maintaining his footwork, doing a good job of just continuing to compete. Um, and I think as he gets better and people forget, this is a former tight end. He came in to college as a tight end, just, you know, learning the position now of offense alignment. So he's continuing to add on strength. He's going to get stronger at the next level. And that's what's going to be impressive because he has these good foundations to, to build with, as you see here, good technique of, you know, maintaining anchor, continue to drive and then finish. <laughs> a sandwich, a pancake, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than that, I mean, yes, he's going to have to like Alex Kappa put on a little bit more weight because he does have a slider frame, like you mentioned, because mm -hmm. he was a tight end. But if it's yeah. just gaining weight, getting in the system that we have to get you to be looking like Jensen eventually, I'll take it. Alex Kappa yeah. went through the little transition. I think it's very much possible that Mock can truly get to that point. And it's only a matter of time because the, the skill is there and the awareness of tendencies is there too. So I'm very happy with Cody Mock as potentially a right guard. Let's see, it's going to be a, a battle in camp. And there's, there's no given shots right now because this whole offensive line is going to be changed. Yeah, absolutely. So with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button. Let us know what you think of Cody Mock and, and the draft selection. Uh, do you expect him to start right away or do you see it being a slow development and, you know, maybe he'll come on next year as the starting guard? But let us know with your thoughts. And with that said, until the next one.